Hey guys, Trav here. I wanted to share some footage with you from our second annual Day of Giving here at the Pangburn Foundation. I spent the day on Hastings Street in Vancouver, which is a really rough part of our country uh, up here in Canada. Um, a lot of homelessness, a lot of people hungry, but I gave out a thousand uh, packages of Mr. Noodle today. I met some incredible people, heard some amazing stories, and uh, here's some of the footage. Enjoy. All right, my dudes, here's the first load. You gotta be really fucking careful down here or you'll run someone over. It's, uh, you gotta drive slow. Anyone who's driving down Hastings Street, please slow down. Holy fuck. There, someone could come out of nowhere. There's, cause people are, you know, they're, there's a lot of addicts down here and they're just, it, it, their surrounding environment is uh, hard for them to, um, uh, it's hard for them to process at, at normal speed, right? Uh, hey. All right, what's your name? Dave. Dave. Dave, is going to be back in high school and play tackle football with bare feet. Tackle you football? I, I get my run, you can slide. You can catch that ball and you can Right. That's awesome. All right, I'm How you. long have you been playing the guitar? Uh, four years, four years, 19 days, 19 hours. That makes you professional. Yeah, I yeah. I had to do about 18 to 20 in my studio with a broken wrist. So I had to play left or right like Jimmy Hendrix. Do you want to play? Do you want to play a song? I'll take your stuff. I got a question for you. This is for real. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, you know, if uh, what, what do you think Canada can do better to help out down here on Hastings? Sponsor more musicians. Keep people carrying a, a harmony or melody as they strike. Yeah. As well as learn how to sell themselves as well as the product. Yeah. And not just say, oh, this is worth so much. And this is what this is going worth. A lot of things may be boiled down to drugs, but it should be sold by the strength, not the weight. Right. You have to figure that out because the arithmetic with the, the Montreal French, they fucked it up early. They fucked up my retirement savings. I thanks to my brother. The only thing I got in retirement is the port side. Yeah. I worked the dogs a bit if I'm lucky. You know, the, 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 the dispatchers were drinking the region was about eight years old alcohol but I go back to work. Right. Uh, so if I if if I could help you out as much as I possibly could, what would that look like? Well, would you, I would you, I you would sponsor me and give me a uh, a capital and some kind of a jam space for music. A jamming space for music. Rich, rich, yeah. rich, 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 rich. What about a how do, do you live somewhere around here? I live in this place, hotel. Oh you live in a hotel? Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, it's sex shit, man. Is it rough in there? Ah, uh, it's terrible. <laughs> Everybody's shooting up as a theatrical. Yeah. What do you smoke? Methamphetamine. Meth? Yeah, yeah. Feed or weed. What, do you want to get off it? I do, but there's times I, I can't even wait to wake myself up unless I get off. It's bomb. hard, eh? Yeah. Do you think there's enough resources for that? I uh, should be able to turn the fentanyl into not just methamphetamine, but spreading uh, opiates throughout other things. Yeah, yeah. You know, mom is cooking and whatever we buy. It was Dave, right? Yeah, Dave. Awesome. Nice meeting you, Dave. Yeah, I appreciate you. it. Yeah. All right. Well, the first load of noodles went way too fast. I'm going to get more. <laughs> hey, what's your name? Uh, Kevin Angley. Sorry? Kevin Angley. Kevin? Uh, and uh, what do you, uh, what do you, what does your day to day like down here? Uh, I'm not down here all the time. I just yeah. uh, passed the street today yeah. on my way to an appointment, but it seems like it's kind of slow for around Christmas. Yeah. Um, what do you, what do you think Canada could do or a guy like me could do to help things out down here so that people aren't living in such poor conditions? Well, a lot of people stop by with donations and stuff like you just did. I um, appreciate that. Once in a while, I come through and catch a lunch and stuff. So pretty decent. Yeah. yeah. What do you think's the main main problem down here? Do you think it's uh, drug addiction? Do you think it's uh, what do you think it is? Um, I don't know. I just so many people on their own doing their own thing, right? It's, yeah. It's just so chaotic. You don't really see uh, always the same people every day, right? It's, yeah. 
lot of people coming and going, eh? Do you think there's enough opportunity to help people get out of homelessness or, or get out of poverty? Well, right now I'm homeless. I'm just uh, I'm flopping around. So, uh, right. I've got to find a place to kind of hang in. So imagine, like, I had unlimited resources to offer you. What could I do to, uh, you know, help help you out to, you know, better your life? Well, uh, like you said, the food's a big thing. Uh, uh, just people being aware of, uh, like, what's going on down here. It's not just uh, drug addiction. It's, uh, it's pretty chaotic, eh? Yeah. A lot of people like myself uh, not, not even staying somewhere. They're... Yeah, you don't have a home? Going yeah. So, like, starting with a place to live, uh, some uh, some regular food, yeah, and uh, and then maybe a, what, what about like you know I don't know if you do you use drugs. Uh, once in a while. Once I'm in a while. Now, eh? Yeah. I mean, I smoke pot, but that's as hardcore yeah, as I yeah. go. <laughs> yeah. I'm You're on methadone. Yeah. That's no right yeah. Now, so. And how's that working out? Uh, pretty good. Yeah. yeah. yeah you know, once in a while, but it's, it's still... When's the last time you had a job? Uh, it's been a few months now. A few months? A few, uh, oh, okay. Actually, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, what's your name? Dave. Dave? Dave. Gabe. Dave. <laughs> Dave. Dave. Okay, cool. Uh, and uh, you're from Nova Scotia, you say? Yeah, I'm right. How long have you been here? 30 years. 30 years? Um, and do you uh, live on Hastings Street here? Not anymore, no. I volunteer down here. What's that? I come down to volunteer. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, Cool. I, I used uh, to live down here, but now I'm not. Uh, what, what kind of volunteer do you do? Uh, for the, uh, a lot of the organizations. A lot of the organizations like Candyman, First United Church. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, Salvation Army. Yeah. Yep. Quite a, and a what lot. do you what do you notice down here? Like, how could Canada improve on the situation down here? Down here. Yeah. Do you think it's I a lack it. of resources, or do you think it, there needs to be some like? Philosophical upgrades and changes to how uh, to the standards of how people are, uh, you know, okay with are living. For, are you looking talking drugs or are you talking just that? Uh, Who knows, right? Are you like, talking quality of life? You know, quality of life, or is it, or, or is drugs really at the heart of this? No, it's, it's never. Drugs are never a part of it. It's actually a lot of the symptoms of what causes you to use drugs. Is what's bothering the people. And right. people just hide behind drugs to get right. because they're hurting. From so you're talking about the underlying conditions of depression? Yeah, and like, everything else yeah. that people use drugs just to hide those symptoms and yeah. they, they don't want to deal with. And maybe life traumas as yeah, well. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people have been abused and everything else growing up, so they hide these drugs to take away that feeling. Right. I asked somebody who does heroin, and I had never tried it, and I said, "What's it like?" They said it's like a big warm hug. Yeah. Said, big oh, warm hug. Yeah. I've heard that a lot. Yeah, and I, I've never done it that. either. I said, oh, really? Because that's kind of curious too. Like, why? what's it all about, right? So that's maybe takes away all their pain and everything else for the yeah. time, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, uh, I appreciate you uh, chatting with yeah. me and, 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 and your what's insight. A, what's YouTube? Uh, YouTube channel is Pangburn, P-A-N-G-B-U-R-N. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll be adding this uh, little a little Let's clip of this it. interview to that. Uh, I'll look it up on my phone. Yeah, you bet. Thanks Pangburn. a lot. All right, thank you. Yeah. Pangburn. Okay. Yeah, Pangburn, yeah. P A N G, Pang, and then Burn. Um, so uh, you said you uh, work down here? Yes, I've been uh, I've been uh, the volunteer elder uh, for the downtown East Sign. Okay. And I've been doing this in the community for since 1989. Wow. And during this time I've been doing this with people, I've managed to get 24 people into detox treatment, come back and see, see me and say thank you. Bravo. You know, wow. so it's a success. One lady asked me, do you get paid for what you do? I said, no. She goes, are you great? I said, no. It's from the heart. Right. My it feels good. Right? From the heart. I, uh, do, how do we make do more? Well in the community. Yeah, I, I totally understand that, and it feels so good. How do we get more people to engage in the the kind of you, you know? Learn from someone like me. Right. I'm. I just turned seventy one, and I'm still going strong. Yeah. You know. You look amazing for seventy one. By the way, yeah, no, I would have no. never guessed that. I would have guessed fifty one. The reason for that <laughs> is because I don't drink. I don't do bad drugs. I don't smoke. Right. There's the difference. Right. 
And is that the, the key issue down here? Or do yes. you think, yeah, yeah. Yes. And a lot of the people I start with, I give them hugs, I help them through with the hurts, they're letting go, and then sometimes a lot of them say, dear, no work, and go to detail. Yeah. So that's yeah. part of an accomplishment from an elder to look after someone that is hurting in the community. Right. So you've had they so much more people. Like more people. Me. Okay. Okay. That's uh, th that was one of my questions. Like, okay, and now for someone like me, um, I have a platform where I speak to a fair amount of people. What what can I tell them that? Like, let's say the government of Canada was listening and, the, and they said, okay, uh, we're listening. What is, like, the main thing the government could do to come down and help the situation down here? To help the situation? What you do, what you do is you've got to be wise. You've got to bring an elder down there that's co sailors and you work it from there. That's the way it goes. So you got to be on the ground here in this in the community. Co sailors territory, and I'm co sailors, and you can call me in to do this just for protection from whatever too. Yeah. Okay. Well, I appreciate you chatting with me today. Uh, enjoy the noodles. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Have a great day. Yeah. You too. Yeah. Bye. 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 So I would uh, like to issue a challenge to all of you this holiday season. Uh, take some time, take an hour out of your day to, to go and, you know, spend a bit of money on some food and uh, go and interact with the homeless and hungry in your community. And uh, tell me how you feel about it. I, I'd like to, uh, to see your videos, like to see your pictures, send them in to Pangbird. I'd like to hear um, how it made you feel to go out and, and give. I can't believe the appreciation that was shown today. You know, for what little I could do. We gave away a thousand meals. Um, and when I say meal, I say that from my standard of what a meal can be. Uh, I still eat Mr. Noodle crunched up. You, you dump the little spice package in, you shake it up, and you eat it just like you would eat a snack, like chips. Um, or, you know, a quick lunch. You throw it into a pot, boil that, boil that stuff together. And if you, you can throw an egg in there with it, oh, then you got her made. Throw an egg in there, throw a little meat in there, um, throw some veggies in there. Okra? Oh, yeah. Uh, I love that stuff. So I like sharing that part of my life. I eat, I eat instant noodle. Um, I ate a lot of it when I was in university. It was a, it was a cheap meal. Um, yeah. Uh, and yeah, you can even add some more spices, whatever, whatever you like. It's very versatile. Uh, I really enjoyed meeting and speaking with Dave. He had a look at my car after. It's like, is that a 500 Hemi? <laughs> I was like, no, it's a eco-friendly, 320 horsepower. <laughs> He's like, oh man, you need a Hemi. <laughs> I'll be following up with Dave. I have his information. So there's a lot of hungry people down here, Canada, um, on Hastings here in Vancouver. Consider taking uh, some time out of your day, bring a bit of food down here, or even better yet, a whole lot, and uh, let's feed some hungry mouths. Uh, there's a lot of help needed down here, so yeah, uh, happy holidays. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the footage from our second annual Day of Giving on Hastings Street in Vancouver. I wanted to leave you guys with an original song 
I wrote for the uh, Christmas holidays this year. Uh, be well and remember to get out there and give. Thanks, guys. Check one. Well, I've got pennies in my pocket And Christmas time's around the corner And will my daughter understand That doll, I couldn't afford her So I did my best To sew this dress in her favorite color I can't compete with her mom I'll come in second by the time that we're done But I'm so proud that I did my best To sew this dress in a favorite color It really needs a flower Maybe some buttons Something to surprise her Some garland Cause it's Christmas Something to remind her That I'm daddy And I sewed this dress In a favorite color Christmas, I love you.